The James Webb Telescope has been in action recently, sending us some amazing and never seen before photos of faraway galaxies and star clusters. The James Webb Telescope will do more than just take photos. It will check out black holes and will peek through previously impregnable walls of cosmic dust and see how stars are born. This is just going to be a daily routine. And as it turns out, the James Webb is going to study the multiverse theory first proposed by physicist Hugh Everett and later explored by Stephen Hawking. So, what could the James Webb telescope reveal and prove? We shall find out in today's video. Expansion of the Universe The Big Bang Theory states that the universe is constantly expanding. In fact, right now, the Big Bang is taking place leading to the creation of new galaxies. As of June 11, NASA confirmed that the James Webb Space Telescope or JWST has produced the deepest and sharpest infrared image of the distant universe that has ever been seen, heralding a major event in astronomy. Thousands of galaxies, including the faintest objects ever observed in the infrared, have appeared in Webb's view for the first time, all captured in a relatively small area. The slice of the vast universe covers a patch of sky approximately the size of a grain of sand held at arm's length by someone on the ground, the release said. The image that was released by NASA is billed as a preview. Calling it Webb's first deep field, NASA said the image shows galaxies that were once invisible to us. The image shows shining objects packed together in use of blue and orange. Swirling faraway galaxies, similar to how the Milky Way looks, are also visible. Light travels at 186,000 miles per second. And that light that you are seeing on one of those little specks has been traveling for over 13 billion years. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson said of the image, the BBC reported. NASA is going to dig in right at the beginning when the universe was still new. We're going back further, because this is just the first image. They're going back about 13.5 billion years. And since we know the universe is 13.8 billion years old, you're going back almost to the beginning," he added. Taken by Webb's near-infrared camera, the image was made by combining various images at different wavelengths. The image shows the galaxy cluster called SMACS0723, as it appeared 4.6 billion years ago. The combined mass of the galaxy cluster acts as a gravitational lens, magnifying much more distant galaxies behind it. This will help researchers in learning more about the galaxy's masses, ages, histories, and compositions, as Webb seeks out the earliest galaxies in the universe. But the biggest thing that NASA's James Webb Telescope could help prove is Stephen Hawking's dark matter theory. The James Webb Telescope is set to produce data needed to assess one of Stephen Hawking's most controversial theories, suggesting that dark matter or the invisible substance that makes most matter in the cosmos may be made of black holes formed in the earliest moments of the Big Bang. According to Live Science, three astronomers have developed a theory that explains not only the existence of dark matter, but also the appearance of the largest black holes in the universe. They said that several new instruments could produce data needed to finally assess Hawking's famous notion. Astronomers explain that black holes are formed only after massive stars die, then collapse under the weight of their own gravity. Black holes require many stars, which requires a bunch of normal matter. Now scientists know how much normal matter is in the universe from calculations of the early universe. But they believe that there simply isn't enough normal matter to make all the dark matter, which makes up over 80% of all the matter in the universe. In case you are unaware, in 1978, Stephen Hawking suggested that black holes were formed in the chaotic environment of the earliest moments of the Big Bang. He explained that pockets of matter could spontaneously reach the densities needed to make black holes, flooding the cosmos with them well before the first stars twinkled. He further also suggested that these primordial black holes might be responsible for dark matter. Once researchers figure out the connection between black holes and dark matter, it could possibly open doors for resolving other cosmological challenges. They found that primordial black holes could play a major role in the universe by seeking the first stars, the first galaxies, and the first supermassive black holes. They also said that their observations indicate that stars, galaxies, and supermassive black holes appear very quickly in cosmological history, 
perhaps too quickly to be accounted for by the processes of formation and growth that is observed in the present day universe. Perhaps too quickly to be accounted for by the processes of formation and growth that is observed in the present day universe. While the idea is still a model, scientists believe that this could be tested relatively soon. They said that the James Webb Space Telescope is specifically designed to answer questions about the origins of stars and galaxies. Additionally, the next generation of gravitational wave detectors, especially the Laser Interferometer Space Antenna, is also poised to reveal much more about black holes, including primordial ones if they exist. Astronomers say that together, the two observatories should give them enough information to put together the story of the first stars and potentially the origins of dark matter. That's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching.